hello for this steam activity <clears throat> we'll be working with math and making chocolate chip cookies so the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees next you will need one cup of butter softened one cup of sugar one cup of packed brown sugar two large eggs two teaspoons of vanilla extract you will also need one teaspoon of baking soda Two teaspoons hot water, one half teaspoon of table salt, three cups all purpose flour, two cups of semi sweet chocolate chips. And then optional is chopped walnuts or large pecans. So the first thing you want to do <clears throat> is put in your butter, which it should be softened. So this is one cup of butter. And then one cup of white sugar. one cup of packed brown sugar And then one at a time, you want to beat in your eggs. And if you're allergic to egg, or don't eat egg, egg substitute is fine. <clears throat> then you need to go ahead and cream it together. So we're going to go ahead and stir it. Next, we need two teaspoons of water. So let's find a teaspoon measure. So, one, two teaspoons of water. Next, we need 
one half teaspoon of salt, Next, we need three cups of all-purpose flour. <clears throat> so, we take a one-cup measure. We have one, two, three cups right here. And then two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. <clears throat> so one, with one cup. And the second cup. And then our final ingredient ingredients are two teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of baking soda. So let's take our vanilla. One teaspoon, two teaspoons of vanilla. So one, two, and then finally our baking soda. And we want one teaspoon of that. Now, again, we mix everything together. And you can mix it by hand or you can use an electric blender. Whatever you have, it doesn't really matter as long as you can mix it together well. So it's a little bit dry, so I'm going to add in just a little bit of water. To give it some moisture. We just need another small cup of water. Alright, once you have everything creamed together, it should look about like this. You have a mixture. Then, you want to take your baking sheet, make sure it's lined. I have a special 
Pampered Chef baking mat, so I don't need to spray my cookie sheet. Um, as you can see, but it is always a good idea if you don't, if you're using a regular cookie sheet, to go ahead and spray it. And then we're going to just dip out a little bit. I'm using an ice cream scoop. So that's about the size right here that you want your cookie. Just scoop it out by small bits. And I can fit about 12 cookies on a sheet. Next, we want to go ahead <clears throat> and open our oven. Make sure you have an adult supervision or their permission. And we're going to put the cookies in the oven. And we're going to leave them in there for about 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes, so we're going to now open up the oven. Make sure you have an adult supervision, of course, and check on our cookies. All right, looks like they're not quite done, so we're going to wait another about five minutes. Okay, it's been about <clears throat> five, six more minutes, so we're going to check on our cookies again. And I do believe they are done. So, when they're done, they should be a nice golden brown color. And then, of course, you want to let them cool. Thank you for joining me for using math to make our cookies.